In this video, we are going to find the smallest positive integer whose cube ends in triple eights. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. The first thing that we have to notice is that if we really have such positive integer, we call it x, then whenever I add or subtract a multiple of a thousand on this x, we notice that this difference using the identity of the difference of cubes is going to be a multiple of a thousand n. So let me just write down the other details. But that's not important because all we want to know is that this is a multiple of a thousand. And so because we're only looking for the last three digits of the cube. So these two numbers, these two cubes are going to, to have the same ending three digits. So that means if I were to find not just some positive integer whose cube ends in triple eights, but the smallest one, then we know that we can only focus on numbers that are at most three digit numbers. So it's either um, one digit, two digits, or three digits, but we know that of course it's very likely for our final answer to be some number that contains three digits. Now knowing this, for this positive integer, I can let x to be the number that satisfies this requirement and say, let x equals 100a plus 10b plus c, in which these a, b, c are the digits of x. And I want to use notations in modular arithmetic, which is that x cubed is congruent to 888 mod 1000. Now from this, we know that in particular, x cubed is congruent to 8 mod 10. Now from this, we can already deduce one of the values of ABC. Notice that for cubes, when I take mod 10, it can either be 0, 0 cubed equals 0, 1 cubed equals to 1, 2 cubed equals 8, and so on, 27, 64, 125, 216, I can write out the whole numbers, and then 343, 512, 729, and then the remainders will repeat. Now from this, we know that we can only have a cube to be congruent to 8 mod 10, if the number itself is congruent to 2 mod 10. That means the last digit of x is 2. So that means this c equals 2. Now we can move on to solve the next digit, which is b. So from this result, I can say that x is equal to 100a plus 10b plus 2. And I'm going to consider mod 100 instead. Again, from the same condition. I can say that x cubed is congruent to 88 mod 100. And we know that x is congruent to 10b plus 2 mod 100, so I can simply expand 10b plus 2. I can ignore the 100a term. And using the binomial theorem, 10,000b cubed plus 3 times 100b squared 
times 2 plus 3 times 10b times 4 plus 8 is congruent to 88 mod 100. Now simplifying, we know that 120b is congruent to 80 mod 100. So to simplify things, I'm going to rewrite this back into an equation, but not simply congruence and modular arithmetic. Then 100, let 120 be to be equal to some multiple of 100 added by 80. Then I can divide both sides by 20 so that then 6b equals 5y added by 4. So at the end, I, I can, I'm going to write b in term b in mod 5. Because we know that I can only say multiples of b to be some multiple of 5 added by 4. So at last, I'm going to write b in terms of mod 5. Now knowing that b is again a digit, it's a digit, so b can only be 4 or 9. Now that means our last two digits of our answer x is either 42 or 92. But for both cases, I can say that Our answer x is congruent to 42 mod 50. We don't actually need to consider um, x mod 100 because mod 50 would be sufficient. The following steps are going to explain why this is the case. So for this, I can rewrite the whole shape of x. I'm going to say that x equals 50n plus 42, and then I'm going to write x cubed in terms of n. So the first term is 50n whole cubed plus 3 times 2500n squared times 42, added by 3 times 50n times 42 squared, and at last added by 42 whole cubed. Now notice that 42 cubed is equal to 1764 multiplied by 42. This is 42 squared. And so you will get at last 74,088. Now back to x cubed. So this is congruent to only the last two terms when I take mod 1000. Let me explain this. For the first term, it's clear that with the triple zeros, this term is a multiple of 1000. Now for the second term, we already have two zeros and because 25 times 42 is a multiple of 10, so the second term will also become multiple of 1,000. So that means I can completely ignore the first two terms, which makes our calculation much easier. So from this, we can say that 150n multiplied by 1764 plus 74,088 is congruent to triple eights mod 1,000 as required by the problem. And again, I'm going to simplify that a bit. Is that I'm going to rewrite 
we arrange the factors in the first term. As you can see, I doubled 150 while I halved the other, the other number. The purpose of doing this is to show that this term is actually a multiple of a thousand from the double zeros. And this term is congruent to minus 73,200 mod 1000. And then again, I'm going to rewrite that back into an equation rather than just congruence and moderate arithmetic. I'm going to let this be some multiple of 1,000 subtracted by 73,200. I'm going to divide both sides by 200, so it gives 3 times 441, taking away these two zeros and dividing this number by 2, and that I will get division by 200. So that's 3 times 441 times n equals 5 z minus 366. And now, using a similar argument as above, we know that we are going to re re rewrite n in terms of mod 5. So I'm going to take mod 5 on both sides, and I get 3n is congruent to minus 1 mod 5. And we know this is actually equivalent to 4 mod 5. And by checking, you know that n can only be 3 mod 5. Now combining all the results, we know that x is equal to 50n plus 42, while n is congruent to 3 mod 5. Because x is positive, so I cannot subtract any multiple of 50 from 42, because that will give negative, so I can just keep adding. Now from this, we know that n starts from 3, and then 8, 13, 18, and so on. So let's try. The first possibility that will satisfy 888 mod 1000 is that 50 times 3 plus 42 is equal to 192 and this is equal to 7 million 77,888 and this is exactly what we want ending in triple eights so We've succeeded in our first trial, and that means this is this 192 is the smallest number, and hence this is our final answer.